With the foot in a fixed supinated position, the forces start along the lateral axis of the fibula. The leg undergoes an internal rotation creating tension on the anterior inferior tibiofibular ligament. In a stage 1 injury, one of two pathologies may occur, rupture of the anterior inferior tibiofibular ligament or a fracture of the distal lateral tibia, also known as Tillot-Chapeau fracture. As the leg continues to internally rotate, the talus collides with the distal fibula, creating a spiral fracture of the fibula beginning at the level of the syndesmosis. This describes a stage 2 injury, which is the most commonly encountered ankle fracture. A wax staff fracture can also occur during the stage. As the force progresses, a stage 3 injury will either involve a rupture of the posterior tibiofibular ligament or a fracture of the posterior malleolus of the tibia, also known as Volkmann's fracture. Supination external rotation injuries that reach stage 3 rarely stop at this point and usually progress to the final stage. Continued unrestrained lateral rotation of the talus will result in a stage 4 injury involving either a rupture of the deltoid ligament complex or a transverse fracture of the medial malleolus. In summary, the hallmark signs of this injury include the injury beginning along the lateral axis of the fibula. The spiral fracture seen in stage 2 is unique to supination external rotation injuries.